People with cancer ask me, can I replace the gym with just walking? I love walking outside in the park, I walk my pet every day. Is walking a replacement for the gym? And if yes, how many steps do I need to do to be considered fit? Let's answer that. A few days ago I was talking to someone with cancer and I was telling them about the benefits of going to the gym and doing exercise and they told me I don't need to go to the gym, the weather is good, I can walk every day if I want to. Is that true? I'm sorry to disappoint but walking is not an exercise. Walking is more of a biological need that we have, similar to needing to drink water and needing to sleep. We need to do those things every day to have good health. So you cannot really replace exercise or going to the gym with walking. At the same time, you cannot just exercise and not walk enough. You need to do both walking and exercise. But how much walking do you need to do every day? We're gonna look at a couple of studies that answer that question and then I'll tell you a couple of tips on how to squeeze in a bit more walking on your day, especially if you're suffering from things like cancer-related fatigue. The first study comes to us from the University of Massachusetts and it had more than 2,000 elderly adults, both males and females, and they were measuring their steps every day by using a device called an accelerometer that you wear on your waist. The scientists wanted to look if there is any relationship between the number of steps we're doing every day versus a premature risk of death. It was a well-controlled study. They actually accounted for things like smoking, body mass index and other things that could influence the results. So that allowed them to isolate between walking and premature death. The scientists found that doing between 7 to 10,000 steps every day was associated with a reduced risk of premature death. Less than 7,000, increased risk. More than 10,000 didn't necessarily translate to more benefits. So the benefits seem to start leveling off after 10,000. But keep in mind, they only looked at the relationship between number of steps and premature death, not on other things such as musculoskeletal health or uh, cardiovascular health. There could be benefits in those domains after 10,000 steps. The second study that comes to us from the University of Semnan from Iran also looked at the relationship between the number of steps and the all-cause mortality. And actually that's a meta-analysis, so it looked at multiple studies. And they found the same thing, that doing between 7 to 12,000 steps is an ideal number to reduce your all-cause mortality. Actually, they found that people who do less than 7,000 steps, okay, which might be you, if you increase the number of steps that you're doing per day by just a thousand, which could be like an extra 10 minutes of walking, you immediately lower your risk of premature death from any source, all right, disease, cardiovascular events, anything, by 12%. Every thousand steps that you add to reach that seven to 12,000 steps target, every thousand steps reduces your risk of death by 12%. How crazy is that? Imagine if I gave you a pill and I told you, look, if you're gonna take this pill now, every day, for every pill that you take, your risk of dying from any disease, any infection, anything, by 12%. How much would you pay for such a pill? Moreover, what's amazing is that neither of the two studies found that the speed of walking is associated with any benefits in all-cause mortality. So for you, that means that it doesn't matter how fast you're walking, as long as you walk a lot every day. Now, even though these were healthy people, you might be wondering, what if I have cancer? Do I still get this benefit? Yes, that benefit of 12% reduction per thousand steps you're increasing applies to you. But you also have more benefits because we know that walking is physical activity and we know that people with cancer who have higher levels of physical activity, have reduced side effects from the cancer treatments and higher survival. 
So, you get the benefits of increased survival from all cause mortality from the studies that I talked about before, plus you get reduced side effects from the cancer treatments and higher survival from the cancer. What's not to love? Before we talk about how to squeeze in a bit more walking, especially if you're suffering from cancer-related fatigue, if you would like to raise awareness and help spread this video to those who might need it, if you click the like button, it's gonna help with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. We have all heard of ways to squeeze in a bit more walking in our sedentary societies, such as parking a ca our car further away from where we wanna go so we can walk the distance, or going up a few flights of stairs before we take the elevator up or down. But if you have cancer-related fatigue, that can be a bit more challenging. What I would do, and I would also advise you, is you know how you have sometimes good days and bad days, or maybe your fatigue fluctuates a bit during the day? Well, what you could do is check when your fatigue is a bit better, and actually you can download an app on your phone to beep every hour, so it can remind you to check if you can do it. Get up and do a few rounds around the house. So that's actually actively fighting the fatigue. Plus, your fatigue, if you keep doing that, if you're squeezing more walking every week, the fatigue levels are gonna start lowering over time. Now, how do you measure steps? Do you need to buy an accelerometer like they did in that study? No. Well, you could buy a Fitbit, but almost every smartphone nowadays can measure steps. So either it has it inbuilt or you need to download an app. But what would be absolutely best is if, when the fatigue is more manageable during uh, the day, to do an exercise medicine program that you can find in my channel to actively fight the cancer with exercise and reduce the side effects of cancer treatments. And between the exercises or the sets, you try to do walking because it's also gonna help you recover and put in more effort in the next exercise. And with that, I hope I inspired you today to squeeze in as much walking as possible during the day, making sure you reach at least seven to 10,000 steps per day, maybe more sometimes, but definitely not less. I'll see you guys next time.